Here the question is, for the code fragment given below, which answer correctly represents minimum tests required for statement and branch coverage respectively? And then these options are provided. Now let's analyze the code to get the correct answer. The first line is discount rate equals 1. And the second line is fair equals 1000. Both are statements, so we can represent it like this on flowchart. Line 3 is if person equals to senior citizen and travel month equals to January, this is a condition. We can represent it like this. If this condition is true, line 4, bonus points, quals to 100, plus bonus points will execute. Since it is a statement, we can represent it like this. Now, the point to understand is, since there is no else part, we have to do nothing if condition fails. Fifth statement is, if class quals to first is a condition, we can represent it like this. And if this condition is true, line number six, discount rate equals to 0 0.5, will execute. Since it is a statement, we can represent it like this. Since there is no else part, we have to do nothing if condition fails. Line 7 is fair quals to fair multiplied by discount rate. And this is how we have to represent it like this. With this, the flowchart is complete. Here, we have to find the number of test cases required to cover statement coverage and branch coverage. With this path, all the statements are covered. That means we need one test case to cover statement coverage. Now, with this test case, we only cover the true part of the decision. So, we need one more test case to cover the false part of the branch. That means two test cases are required to cover branch coverage. Therefore, Option A, statement coverage, equals 1, branch coverage, equals 2, is the correct answer.